The grand tradition of CBS reports is vividly brought up to date in this compelling documentary chronicling what is perhaps the most important single day in the 20th century. 1 p.m. at Omaha. American soldiers are still trapped against the bluffs. There was just row after row on stretchers of wounded guys. I spot one guy at the water's edge, and something about him was familiar from his size, his stature, something. I'm looking at the back of him, but something told me I knew him. And as if he heard me, he turned around. And we're probably 60 yards apart. He turned around. Half of his face was shot off. His arm was missing. His clothes were in shreds. His field pack was hanging down his back. He was awful. But through all that gore, I saw, I saw the necktie. And my first fears were confirmed. It was my buddy. There was no doubt about it. Well, I tried to wave to him. I couldn't move my arms. I tried to yell at him, but I had no voice. The only thing that worked were my eyes. I couldn't take my eyes off him. But I couldn't move. I don't know why I, I couldn't move. I just lay there rigid watching him. He finally turned away and staggered off down the beach. And he disappeared a big cloud of smoke. And I guess a part of me disappeared with him. Here to accept our senior producer, Maurice Murad, and the consultant of the broadcast, General H. Norman Schwarzkopf. Thank you very much. I know somebody out there is going to say, who's that guy up there with Murad? First, I'd like to really thank the two producers who are going to be up here two or three times in the, uh, as their careers move along, Deirdre Nathan and Terry Manning, who are fabulous in this. General Schwarzkopf, who lent a tremendous historical overlay and tremendous uh, presence to this broadcast. A big thank you to our boss, Eric Ober, who uh, reinstituted CBS reports against all odds. It's a tough time now. To our executive producer, Linda Mason, who was with us on the beaches of Normandy and 9 o'clock. Sunday nights in the cutting room, as was Dennis Blakely, our supervising editor. We had probably the best cinematographer anywhere in the world. His name is Greg Andraki, and his partner, Duncan Forbes. That's right, you can clap. Everybody here knows he's the best in the world. And his partner, Duncan Forbes, to help us out. Ray Bribiesca, Chris Martin, Eldra Gilman. It was a tremendous unit. And I thank the Peabody's, and I think the general would like to say something also. <clears throat> Dan Rather is not here today because he's in Europe honoring the true heroes of our show, the magnificent men and women who are the veterans of World War II. Thank you very much.